But uh, we can finally get started. It wasn't easy um figuring out how to uh get the turrets to stop shooting all at once. But we can fix that real quick. Um, so you remember how I had the detector go over like the turret whenever it was created? Well, I'm gonna need to delete that. Create detector from turret. No, oh, is it two seconds? No. Great. Yeah. And then we're gonna want the detector to be created relative to the target whenever it is made. Then we're gonna want the detector, come on, to always be positioned relative to the target. All right, and then here again, uh, so I've had the detector over the turret. We're just gonna leave it like that, and to make sure that, uh, well, let's just see this run real quick. Now we're gonna replace the turret. It'll individually start targeting them. But that also means that, uh, oh, right, one other thing, um, I made this, uh, like I deactivate this, but let me just show you what I did. Last, uh, pick or count. Uh, have all detector been destroyed? Insert, pick or count. Uh, Compared to the number of targets is different than zero, then create a detector relative to the target. All right, and now I guess I'll have it to where if you have the uh, turret like over if you still have the mouse over the turret it'll still like aim at them all right what we're gonna do now is a uh, place a sort of detector active But that's all right. Won't well, need to be like super big. Yeah. We'll rename this to Blocker. Because if we try to, uh, like, let's see, wait. Yeah, I'm going to straight object it too far. No. Define section, no need. Alright. Like, if we um, use it to where, like, the target hits the end of its path, it then destroy, it's going to destroy all of the uh, targets, and we don't want that. What we do want, though, is that uh, target. Collides with another object. Oh, not the interface, the blocker. Then destroy that and the detector. And that's because it's an active object, so it needs to be destroyed along with that. And uh, let's see if that works. Oh, but to make sure it works correctly. Then maybe counter. No, I made this counter for like another reason, but let's just use this real quick. Add the counter one.
Okay, I'm not gonna put any uh, turrets down. There we go. Hmm? Oh, I get it because it's creating a new one. That's not too distracting. <laughs> Alright. Let's see now. Now we're gonna finally get to uh, using numbers. So we're gonna go back to enemy AI. First though, I think we should move these there so that we can keep tra track of the uh, what, you know, what does what. You know what, now we're going to uh, actually set up the levels. So I know my uh, keyboard is a little close there. And, um, oh, a counter? Okay. Start a frame. Set counter to one. Set the enemy counter to twenty. And set the money counter to say mm, one hundred. Wait, let me check something. Level counter already. Shoot. Okay, already starts at about one. Alright, so start a frame. Insert. Level counter is equal to one. Then you don't need to worry about that. Set so count of 20, count to 100. Drag this down is equal to one. Insert. Enemy counter counter to zero. Then and to counter one. Or you know what? Uh, set the counter to two. And you want to make sure that this event only runs once. Then, you know, and just keep doing that for uh, all of these. Oops. Like for two, three, and so on. Go to two is equal to three. Okay, so if you take a step back, uh, I you'll see what I did wrong. Uh, start a frame. We set the enemy counter to one. Oh, come on now, one hundred. Then we set the money. Oh wait, that's the money counter. That's supposed to be one hundred. Yeah. Okay. So enemy counter to five. Double counter stays the same. Initial value one, minimum value one, so value twenty, like we had before. Then we value make the initial value five to avoid any uh mishaps. Okay. So uh level counter is one, enemy counter is zero. Then we're gonna make the level add to level counter. Oh, wait, I believe that's set. Level counter to two, and then the enemy counter. We'll set that to ten. Down to fifteen. Once more to twenty. And then set counter to three. And with this down, I set the counter to four. Nope, 
Dang it. Okay. And done correctly. That shit was hoping we get that. We lost a bit of health, I believe. But now you see uh, level 2 and it's all working correctly. We could delete that now. Although, it still uses money to get rid of one. You can fix that yourself. It's not that hard, just whenever you do it, you add a 20 or so. Just about half of what it would cost to spend. Anyway, now that we got that done, uh, that should be about it. You can keep adding on to that if you want. Other than that, okay, overlapping, destroy, destroy, but add to counter, let's say 25. So let me show you real quick. It took 50. Now we only took about half of what it would normally take. Just wanted to show you all that real quick. Alright. And that's the end of this tutorial series. Sorry it took so long. Again, I'm like one of the only people that have ever made a tutorial series on this. And uh, it, it just wasn't as easy as I thought it would be at all. There's so many other ways you could have uh, done this and made this invisible, always invisible. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can find the MFA file on my website for free. You're fucking welcome. Um, for future reference, I might not have MFAs for free in the future. But, uh, I'll definitely be making assets available on my site, like art assets and whatnot, to use for free. And, um, they might not always be free. But, thanks for watching another successful tutorial series, even though this one took a while. Really hope you enjoyed. MFA is available on my site. Um, new gaming channel coming up. Um, but yeah, expect a lot of cool new things next year. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.